Getting the FA-22 in the air takes a team of highly skilled men and women working in thousands of roles across the country. From development through production, teams are working around the clock, and it's paying off. The FA-22 is realizing outstanding performance. We would like to share with you firsthand how the FA-22 is being built today. I think this aircraft is a deterrent to what could potentially occur in this world, and I think it's very important to our country. Transitioning from the development phase to the production phase is never easy, but the Lockheed Martin Lead Raptor team is committed to the FA-22 program and is pulling out all of the stops to ensure performance enhancements at every turn. Today, the production line turns out Raptors at a rate 50 percent faster than before, quickly closing in on the goal of three aircraft per month. In this case, speeding up production actually goes hand in hand with improving quality. The best way to improve the efficiency of a line is improve the quality of the product. Team Raptor has reorganized the structure of the program to sync up the supply chain with the needs of the production line, doubling the number of employees and creating tooling efficiencies that save time and money. Workforce here has definitely made the transition from a development mindset to a production mindset. Absolutely essential to gaining stability and reducing the variability of delivering the product. Enhancements to the line have brought renewed attention to quality control, including foreign object debris, or FOD. Cheryl Pearson is the new director in charge of FOD elimination and safety. The biggest challenge is ensuring that we have relentless attention to detail. FOD improvements include clean-as-you-go practices, shadow boxes, single points of entry, plus inventory lists that track each tool and part. The results of the new quality control techniques? Janet Nash, Director of Quality Assurance, told us about a recent government inspection. The DCMA conducted that inspection and said that is the best aircraft they've seen today. We haven't done this alone. We have done this arm in arm with our Air Force customer. They've made some changes as well. They are helping us make some changes in the work that we are continuing to do. Another production change to increase efficiency and decrease errors deals with completing avionics component assembly in the new avionics production lab before installation in the Raptor. Such advances take the avionics installation time span down from 35 days to 18 days. The avionics architecture is solid and the stability of the software is consistently improving. Easily the best minds in avionics and software are um, on this program full-time and the results are there. It's working very, very well at this point. Once the Raptor leaves this production line, it goes to the coatings facility, where span times have been reduced from 45 days to just 24. You can't get a better quality RCS jet that these people put out. And not only can you not get a better quality jet, but they're doing it in record time than what we were just doing six months ago. Plus, there's the new state-of-the-art fuel facility, where each FA-22 is fueled and tested in one place. In this all-new building, man hours for each aircraft have been reduced from 1,200 to less than 700, reducing throughput from 16 days to only six. Not only has quality improved, but Lockheed Martin has reduced costs, improved efficiency, and stabilized the production line and is on plan and building the 52 production aircraft currently under contract. Today, we have everything that we need. All the aircraft are being built as intended, and the efficiencies are being realized. The most capable, advanced, air dominance, global strike uh, aircraft, which is the foundation of the national security of the United States for now and for many years to come. To do all that at a very affordable uh, price, um, consistent with the, you know, the budgets that have been set forth by Congress and the Department of Defense. And we're doing that. Overcoming supply challenges, reducing FOD, hiring and training more employees, and maximizing quality. These are all factors contributing to the amazing improvements in the production of the FA-22 Raptor. I'm Cynthia Vale.